I was sitting in a pub one day and I was drinking my pint of beer and staring at the ceiling and feeling sorry for myself and I looked up and on the ceiling was some absolutely gorgeous and beautiful ornamental plasterwork and there was Tudor roses and fleur-de-lis and dragons and wreathing vines and it was just wonderful and I thought why doesn't anyone do things like that anymore? I want to do that. And um, so I went and asked the landlady, and I said, what's that? And she said, oh, that's pargeting. And that was the magic word that got me started. <laughs> I'm Anna Kettle, and I do pargeting and plaster conservation. Well, I'm, I'm always interested in doing pargeting. I do freehand modelling onto blank surfaces, which can be outdoors is very typical and then indoors it would be things like um, ornamental plaster ceilings or over mantles and then with my other hat on I do plaster conservation so that's another thing that I'm always um, interested in looking at interesting old plaster which has fallen into disrepair and needs to be loved. <laughs> the main centre of pargeting is Suffolk and North Essex you do get it occasionally elsewhere in the country but it's not so much that it didn't happen elsewhere but it died out as a trade really when the Industrial Revolution came along. Suffolk and North Essex was a bit of a backwater in the Industrial Revolution and people couldn't afford to knock off their old pargets so it still exists here and it's still a live trade. Typically a client will invite me along and show me a piece of blank wall and say I would like a parget on this. So we have a bit of a discussion about what sort of design they'd like. And I take some photos of the wall and then I go home and I do some drawings which are scale drawings of the fi final product. And then finally I have a, a full size scale drawing which is a line drawing of what the parget will look like and I do an overlay of that onto the photo I've taken of the wall and then I can show them that so they've got a good idea of what it will look like before I even begin to do pargeting. Then I start the work. The surface needs to be keyed up, roughened up so that the parget doesn't slide off. I use a spatula to put lime plaster onto the wall and I use putty lime which is very sticky. It's, it's um, a mixture of lime putty and chalk and animal hair. And model it into the shape that you want. Gradually over something between about three weeks, say, it sets hard and it can be painted. When I was in Venice, I, ha um, I had some marmarino tools made for me by a blacksmith there. And um, there are two very... Um, fine trowels, a bit like um, a bricklayer's trowel, but much smaller and much smoother finish. And they're for polishing a, f a surface flat. And the other tools I had made for me were two spatulas, um, a, a, a larger one and a smaller one. And those are used much more frequently. And then for the final finish, I use my fingers in a very tactile way. I like the design best, I think. I like creating, having a blank canvas and inventing something to go on it so that bit's really good I wouldn't miss out on that I really like the the putting it on to the wall what's on paper is a very two-dimensional representation of the finished thing and in my mind I've got a three-dimensional image and turning the two-dimensional picture which is what the client has seen so far into something three-dimensional is really exciting because you can you know make it in high relief or low relief and 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 that's really good